What's up, guys? It's Hasha Artist here. This is episode 10 of the only my Kashi. So as you can see, our beautiful setup, I just, I was bored. Okay, I have a lot of free time now. So, somewhat free time. So, as you can see, we have our initial salt packs. Soul Fusion, Code the Duelist. But, you know, we're just trying our best to figure out what we're going to get. So, so today we are trying to get, we're still in the hunt for our danger cards. So, our dangers, our soul fusion packs. And it's an assault. We're looking for either lightning storm or some just, you know. There's one of my cards card I kind of want to test out, see how it works out. Again, I'm only doing this because I can't put the only thing they have left on my shelf. So, my, on my job because, you know, can't get to locals. And we have one pack of code to do us. I spent exactly 40 bucks this time, well, $40.88. So, yeah, I'm spending on the tot, which is kind of cool, which I'm happy. So, let's just, let's just go in here. So, you see our build for my cost. We're going to move our extra deck away over here. And then I'll move our main deck. Then our side deck that we have finally started construction our side deck. So, we're good. So, let's start with the one pack of Closer Duelists. Remember, we're looking for a simple card. This is a simple trap card. That's all I need in here. A simple trap card, and we would be good. There we go. Kind of. It's a simple trap card. Trap board, trap card, trap card, trap card. Ooh, trap trick. Kind of cool. No recall. It's a common trap card. Nope. No trap card. Well, we tried, fam. We tried. Go ahead and put, we'll just fill up the middle part with our card and put the commons in the top. There we go. See if we get anything good. So let's just start. So let's see if we have more soul fusion. Let's start. We'll just go back and forth, back and forth. How about that? So we'll start with the bottom one with soul fusion. Remember, we just want danger. That's all we want. We just need danger cards and chaos cavalier. We just need those. Polo and Orcus. No danger cards this time. It's okay. Common cards. I figured you'd always keep the value in the middle so you guys can see. One is one is an assault. I just like to update the deck just a little bit. Ooh, initial dragon. Cool. But nothing that I actually was looking for. I told you guys before I have good RNG for stuff that's not for me. Pretty sure whoever's watching this right now is probably like, yo, I need that card. And then they're like, oh, this guy pulled like 15 of them. I know, right? I don't know, but I'll probably never use it. But I need 15 of them. So let's see. Danger, danger, danger. No, no, no dangers. We have Herald of the Abyss and Thunder Dragon Discharge. All right, then. We need this one. That's this one. Come on, let's get some good stuff. We can do this. Let's do it. Quick curry, give me oil. Jack of Bowen. Can I use this? Hold up. Here, what's the next one? Fire Fans, it's Nixter, Science Thief. All right, so let's hold up now. Jack of Bowen. During your discard, one zombie monster. Spell something this card from your hand. During your opponent's main fit, quick effect, you can change that. No, hold up. You can target one zombie monster in either graveyard. Spell something that monster, but banish it when it leaves the field. Then banish this face up card into an end phase. And so you can only use each effect of Jack of Bowen once per turn. Wait, so I can just special, like, I can spell, is it either graveyard or just my, is it there? Wait, hold up. We read it from your hand during main phase two. You can throw one zombie monster in either graveyard and spell the yeah. monster back. Yo! Yo! Oh, that, 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 that's the, that, I'm gonna put that right there. You're gonna, Oh, that's that that's interesting. We're gonna play with that. Oh well, cool. That's I did not know that. I looked at the set too. I didn't think I thought it was, you had to be specific with that card, but it's just either graveyard. I thought it was just your your opponent. I'm like, why would I take a zombie from their graveyard? I can't even combo off of it. But we getting soul fusion. We got summer, summer, and consolent prize. Consolent prize. Let's put these here. Anything else? 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 Nope. Nothing else. That that's that's I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm find something for that card. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out to see how it's like. So dumping the Mayakashi, then discarding a card 
Then summon special summoning a Mayakashi back from the grave with banish the next turn. But I have trap cards that allow me to get banished zombies back. Banish Mayakashi's back. Oh, that sounds cool. Oh, man, we're about to... Oh, that sounds cool. I'm gonna, I can't wait to test that out. We have uh, Dancer, Mothoff. This doesn't seem like a really weird card for it to be so big. It looks like it's kind of like that. See the little, it's the face, the teeth, the eye, the little English. Sorry, sorry for being distracted. So anyway, let's see. Put this here. But that Jack of Balling card seems interesting. We're gonna play with that. Okay, make sure I can get confused what we're looking for. Most sides. Come to me. Cards I need. So, Bookstone, Petter Plant, Petter, Petter, Petter Plant, Plant, Plast, Plast. Uh, Salmon Great Gifts, Thunder Summer, uh, Necro Temple. Ugh. I'm not even like discouraged about getting packs. Like, you know, some people feel like they get upset. Oh, you can pull what you need. It's cool. If you want to pull what you need, just try it again. Let's see what we get in this one. Time Thief. I don't even do it. Let me just, let me just, I should tell you I'm not with me. Wedding Pegasus at Nister, an ancient warrior saga defense charge. Charge. Ch Chang Bun. Chang Bun. Chang Chang Bun. Chang. I can't read that. Japanese over here. Half. No, partial Japanese. Can't read Chinese. Can't say Chinese thing. I'm sorry. Anyways. More soul fusion. We're almost done with this actually. Our goal, our goal is just dangerous. I could use. I just want more dangerous. Ooh, you know what? This is going in the side deck for sure. That's going to the side deck for sure. Ooh, great keeper stuff. Great keeper. Necro Valley Storm. Ooh, cool. What else? That's it. Did I pull a Tinker Tops already? I feel like I pulled one already. I check the binder to make sure. I think I've actually pulled. I don't. The, uh, it might actually be my first tanker tops. Huh. I'm gonna have to double check and see. And I'm pretty sure that's my first tanker tops. Out of that entire. Oh, huh, interesting. So, last pack. Can we get Lightning Storm or. Hmm. Other cool things we can possibly pull from this set. Now I suddenly can't really want to focus. I'll just focus on the course behind me. Gotta focus in here. Focus, focus. Look at this man. Look at it. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. All right, there we go. Slowly move back. There we go. So we had cooking curry, gammon oil, charged up, hellover dry. I think that's how you say that word. The shiny black C. High canary, the nixter. An unbound with chain soul. Ancient warriors. Let's see what else. Let's see. So not bad. Last one, bad people. Last pack. Can we get some dangers though? We need get these need dangers. You know, we need dangers. That is our goal of like right now is just get dangers. Let's get some dangers. The last pack. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. All right, Salmon Great Jackal, Jack, Jack Gura. Words I don't say, Panzer. Galaxy Brave. D, 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 Flame High Knight. And our, this, <gasps> Danger Dogma. Yes, it's another Danger Car added to the engine and Clock Raven. So that's, that's gonna be going what I needed. At least we got one Danger, that's not bad. We got, we, we legitly got, what? We need it. A new zombie card to play with. Uh, depends off the side deck and danger add to the main deck. So we're going to add the deck right here in the spot. We're not even going to bother like cut, to make a cut. We're just going to do this here, so this here. So the card we got. So for the dangers side deck, we have these three cards. So let's go ahead and jump into the main deck real quick. So we know that we still need certain things for the deck to work correctly the way I want it. So for instance, we still need one more of these. I need three of these. So we're going to go through here real quick. We're going to do this and we'll do a deck profile. We're going to take out Sam. Because now I have three dangers. Because this one's not really limited. Since, since um, Suksinochko and Jackalope are limited, I might as well just use the ones I know I can get out. 
for sure. So we're going to do, do this, take this one out. Add this one in. They also, also realize that if I draw into any of these, I don't need them. So the card can send that one back to the grave. We're gonna put this one, we'll put all three Sam Skulls to the extra deck, side deck for now. Just cause we can still, they're still good cards, just that I'm not using them as much. So we're going to find the next one, which we need to figure out what Jekyll Bowling can be replaced for. I feel like I don't need certain to see. Hmm, it's a little difficult. As of right now. Guys, you know what? I might actually put Danger Dogma. Well, no, see, I want two of each Danger, though, because now I have two. Each of these. Hmm. I wonder if Jack will work well. Cause like both these cards kind of kind of synergize in a way where it's like, oh, we both can bring stuff back and also negate stuff and banish stuff like that. And just gonna be able to work with it a lot better. Like the mind. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna try something a little different. I don't know how often I want to see. Rivalry Warlords, I don't often want to see. I feel like I can get rid of Unizombie. But then that makes me want to play another Yuki. Yuki and Unizombie are similar to the same thing. The only difference is this is a tuner. It allows me to dump, but also... But this allows me to dump. Or Yuki can allow me to dump. She special summons herself. At the same time, so that's like three extra con. I think like two combo synergies right there. Special summons, then also dump any zombie to the graveyard. Where we're using zombie works as your normal summon, decrease, then then dump a zombie. Hmm. There's a lot of things we can try out. But there's a lot we can always test stuff out. So I might. For now, we're going to just decrease one my Akashi though. We're going to decrease one. One I don't really see myself that had, so far all the test runs and all this playing it with so far. The one that seems to always put me in the awkward situation though. I will say this will probably be the skeleton Mayakashi. Okay, it's the only Mayakashi that can't really be normal summon. And one that can't be special summoned. Well well without having an addition of Mayakashi in my hand in order to use it. But by the time I either draw into this, I already have an empty hand, or I have no reason to dump my caution to the graveyard to play off of. So we're going to put one of these to the side deck in case I don't need three, but I feel like I only need two or one of those. So that's a five, and I'm pretty sure I can use another way of doing this. I don't want the deck to go over 40 cards, I'm trying to keep it under 40. But I already know what cards I would side out. If I need to switch out for, you know, if I actually get a chance to play at a local like, eventually by then, or I can find matches online where you can play actual matches instead of like, you know, just singles that I've been playing. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to remove one Maikashi. We'll keep the Unizami because it's still a good effect and a tuner as well. So we'll put one Maikashi to exercise deck. Where is my sleeves? I have sleeves. Where are my sleeves? There they are. Finish up sleeving up some stuff. There we go. That's the sleeve. So we're going to slide in. Just go ahead and slide in Jack of Bowling in here. Let me clean this up nice and pretty. There we go. Sleeve you up. We'll add you into the deck. We're 100% sure add Tanker Toss to the side deck. Since it's limited to one. I already saw the ban list for April and everything, so we're good. Let me put you in the side deck. Well, Put you, put you back, sleeve you up, and just put you in the side deck. Cause it's like the only thing I can do for right now. I don't really have good, decent side cards. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is a hand trap though. Twenty five seven bomb chance to turn if a card you can you control is destroyed by bow or card effect. You switch some this card from your hand. Wait, what? If a card you control is destroyed by bow or card effect, you can switch some this card from your hand. Huh. This card is supposed to summon, you could discard one card, destroy one card in the field, once per turn, and end phase. The graveyard, because you, which was a skeleton, the graveyard, you can supposed to summon this card. 
Yo, wait, no, but here's the thing. That sounds good. Hold on, I might actually add. Hold on, you know what? Just for now, because your effect actually seems pretty good. Like, it's actually, this effect actually pretty good. Like, it's, like, it literally, it's like a combo piece off of, like, if you were able to get this and then get, so imagine you have my Kashi, but you had poison in the graveyard. That's a cool combo when you think of it. So hold up. Oh, how many, how many stars is that? Yo, I might need to go find me a synchro. It's like 11 stars or something. Just to see if that combo works out. So basically, remember, if Poison's in the graveyard and uh, uh, my Akashi you control is destroyed, you special, it special summons itself from the graveyard. So imagine you had set it up right where it was like, let's see, where is she? Imagine having this on the field and I was in the, this was in their graveyard. They target this, destroyed this, right? So that, that activates this if this is destroyed, special summon itself and destroyed. And then this activates this back into the fence. How many stars is that? Three, three, six. Can't do math. Eight, eight plus two is ten. That's ten. That's a ten right there, right? That's ten. Yeah, that's ten. Are you are you ten or thirteen? One, two, four, six, eight, ten. You're you're eleven. Uh, no. Which one's a ten? Is there any ten? One, two, three, six. No. So nine of these are ten. Three, six, eight. Oh, so I gotta find me cool. And where's the zombie synchro out there that's a ten or something? That could be useful. Or any synchro that's like a ten that could be useful. Huh. That's a cool that's a cool comp. So we'll keep no, yeah, we're add you to the side deck until I can figure out where at. But is it you're still a three K beat stick though? Just like yeah, here, have this. Because special summons itself. Anyone that has zombies would just be a zombie then, a level 10 zombie. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to try this out. We're going to definitely try that out. That actually sounds cool. So I added to that side deck. Oh, good on side deck. It's, gonna, it's getting adding more. I'm going to check the binder. Since we, it's episode 10. We got to check the binder anyway. So yeah, we're going to see if we had Tinker Top from the start. I wonder if I did. So we, so we added what? We added. Three, two new cards to the side deck, and then we added two new cards to the main deck. Jack of Bolin and Danger Dogmon. So we're good for now. So let's go test this guy out on White Joe Pro, shall we?
What's up guys? So welcome to the very end of the video. I have fun. So last game for pretty cool. I enjoyed spamming synchros. It's such a pretty fun. I enjoyed it a lot. So as you see the deck has been doing a little bit better, but we need to make it better. Like heavier better, like better, better. We're working on it though. We're working on it. So for up coming up new you no know, product came out, so do overload. Yes, we're going to be doing dual overload because we need two new cards out of there and maybe some, maybe um, Neo Fiber. Who knows? We'll, some experimenting we'll be doing in the future. We get the Carvey Mania that set, but other than that, yes. Hope you guys are having fun. With a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, the end of the video says this episode 10. We are now going through the binder of all the hollows and ultra rares and rare stuff that we got collected so far. So. Yeah, every 10 episodes, I think I'll do it because I want to collect more stuff. Not, or every 5, continuous every 5, but who knows? I might just stick to 5 or 10. I'll think about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you want to. I'm not going to make you do it, but it'd be nice if you did it. So I know you guys are enjoying the content. Also, comment down below for stuff like you guys want to see me pull stuff out of. I know someone suggested Dark Neo Storm. I will try my best to get my hands on it. Like... Ordering stuff right now is a little difficult because nothing's really coming in the mail for nobody at all at this point with the medical supplies. So it might be a little difficult to get my hands on, you know, dark needle storm, stuff like that. I'm trying best to go out. Walmart's around me are kind of like eliminate who can go in the building slash like, you know, what you can buy. Essentials only. So Yugo cards is not really a essential need. But other than that, yes. I hope I see you all in the next video. So I will work on some other stuff. Don't worry. Stuff is coming. I look forward to seeing you on the next video anyways. Peace.